Thanks, Travis. Teachers are often taking time to help their students, but a few weeks ago, North Tazewell Elementary staff rallied to help one of their own after a family emergency. WBVA's Joshua Bolden met with school employees today who say they're more than co-workers, they're family. Baby Keegan and his grandmother are all smiles today, but on October 24th, the North Chaswell Cafeteria cook's face was filled with worry. My grandson was in a near-fatal accident. He fell approximately three stories onto concrete, and I received the call from my daughter that he was in the ICU and trauma unit in California. Jane Boardwine's daughter and son-in-law are in the military, and as much as the grandparents wanted to rush to the other side of the country to be with their grandson, they were unable. So Boardwine turned to her faith and her North Tazewell Elementary family. My main objective was to reach out to my family here at North Tazewell Elementary School for prayer. Boardwine got more than she asked for. Her co-workers at North Tazewell pulled together, and the cafeteria cook who usually does the serving was served with the gift to see her grandson. Within 24 hours, we had more than enough money to send her to California. All I can tell you is that it was the hand of God because as soon as I heard the story, I said, we have to get her to California. I immediately thought if it was my own child or my own grandchild, that I would want to be right there to support them. She arrived in California and saw Keegan, and despite a few fractured bones and scars, her little miracle recognized her right away. I know the police said they've seen children drop from two stories and not survive. But to see this baby running and playing is miraculous. Here for you in Tazewell, Joshua Bolden, WVVA News. Keegan has since improved so much, doctors allow the child and his mom to fly from California to Tazewell, where he continues to recover surrounded by family.